Well, I was talking a little bit about, as an artist, we're fortunate enough to share our selves through our art and sometimes it means I mean our inner selves I guess I don't need to tell about who I am I let the art speak for me and um, yet we can learn a lot more by talking about it I think it's important to do that um, I, I want to just say one thing because we're near a painting that I could talk about why I did this painting. And what it was is a couple of years ago, it was this time of year when uh, the days pull in and the leaves are all falling and it's very clear that it's, it's now the very much the end of summer and um, autumn is upon us and I felt uh, a weariness, a kind of sadness. Um, yeah, I just wasn't ready to let summer go, I guess. And anyway, I realized after us, uh, just thinking about that feeling, that in fact autumn is amazing. It's it's gorgeous because there are colors that we don't see all the time, and and in the um, autumn like the oranges and yellows and golds and so I I kind of became I did this whole inner process where I, I became very okay with autumn being upon us and so I did this little painting called salute to autumn so regardless if winter was coming it was also very beautiful so it took me somewhere farther than than just being a little bit blue because summer was over. And I think that's what all, all art does a little bit. It, it pulls us and, and it says to us what our inner processes are. I think we can grow a lot in articulating it uh, more so, I think. I don't explain very often what went on in my head to do a painting. Um, and sometimes the painting itself tells me what I'm doing <laughs> by speaking to me. So it's a, it's a relationship that is kind of solitary and alone, and maybe even that conversation isn't, isn't discussed outside of my own head. It became um, apparent that one thing I wanted to do is show a number of pieces that I did in um, Cuba last spring and with a balance to what we see in the fall this in, in Victoria. So kind of like here's the, the call of the tropics and here's also a call of autumn in Fernwood or, or Fairfield or wherever. And uh, I think the two go together quite well. And that really became what this show is about. Um, I think the, the whole thing with Cuba was very interesting because I had never before traveled as a painter. Um, and what I did is just bring out a small bag of paints, very small tubes, and some medium and a squirt bottle and that's it in some canvas paper and off you go and I found myself really painting a different feeling being in Cuba than I would um, in Victoria I really did partly I was fi I was fighting the elements uh, sitting on the beach with the winds blowing and paper going every which way and um, you know literally fighting to keep the paper on my knee and the paint is just like kind of also <laughs> precariously <laughs> balanced as well as the water. And so I painted very quickly and, and in a gestural manner what I saw. And I think that was so much fun for me. And um, different tourists would come up and talk to me. And um, yeah, it was really a quick way to work. And I came out of that a couple of weeks with about 14 or so paintings and um, 
yeah, it was, a, it was also a very historic time to be there because uh, President Chavez from Venezuela passed away during that time. And because it was Cuban television, I was really fortunate to watch at least a week of, of the funeral, which was not just a funeral, but tributes that people um, gave him as they walked in front of his, his coffin, which um, millions of people did. And I don't know how much that was covered in the Western media, probably not a lot, but yeah, I was really fortunate to be in, in uh, Cuba to, to witness that and to see um, how beloved he was to many people. And many of them, as they walked past his coffin, made the sign of the cross or saluted him or just simply cried. And they moved people along quite quickly, but it was amazing to watch this millions of people filing past him. And that was just one of the images that I painted, is just a, a sense of what that was like. And the other ones were just kind of music and cigars and color of Cuba. So that and um, and then in, in Victoria, of course, and I'm going back to autumn and um, I, I did a series of photographs on hydrangeas, the, the part that not, they're not in full bloom. In fact, it's the opposite. They're, they're completely decomposing. And the, the, the veins and the, the lattice work, and it just absolutely stunning, stunningly beautiful to me because of the bronzes and golds and those colors that just came out and sometimes pink that, um, yeah, I, I hadn't really observed very carefully before, but once I started photographing them, I, I just got quite excited about that image. So that was a part of the autumn. And then other paintings are of leaves and more typical stuff, like um, there's a photograph of a snowy owl and, you know, a watering can not being used and things like that. So it just became the thematic, yeah, substance of this show. Surprised me, actually. <laughs>